Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Commodity TV and the new edition of our online interview series. Today, we want to talk to Ken Conking, the CEO of Tudor Gold. Hey, good morning, Ken. How are you? Good morning. I'm well. Happy to be here. Good to see you again, yeah. my friend. Yeah, absolutely. Great to see you again and uh, great to see you in good shape. That's important these days because we really need you here. <laughs> so it was a little bit of a while that we were talking. And so I think it's great that the audience gets an update what's going on. Uh, let's maybe get started with, with your news from 28th April. You uh, appointed uh, Joseph of Zenek and uh, also Ken McNaughton to the advisory report uh, to advance Treaty Week uh, uh, Gold uh, Project. So. Uh, why did you do that? Why did you do that? So, what is so special with well, those guys? You, you, you honestly, you can't pick two better people that know exactly uh, what it takes to put something like this in production to the south of us at Pratium. Uh, they were also instrumental on everything that we did for uh, basically Silver Standard to the south of us, including drilling off the uh, uh, lookalike to this was uh, Goldstorm to uh, Snowfields on the upper portion, the, the higher grade, rich aspects. So. Uh, they just came off the successful uh, from discovery to pouring uh, dory in uh, seven years. So in our backyard. So they were available mm -hmm. and they were happy to come on board. And I've never uh, had a better working relationship with anybody in my life. So I naturally uh, went to both Joe Ofsenick and Ken McNaughton as my go-to guys because the, the three of us have uh, worked under with Bob Quartermain for all those years at Silver Standard then. The spin out of course is Pratium. And uh, even though they're heavily engaged with P2 Gold, uh, the first thing they said now is, you know, put us to work, let's go. So love to have those guys on board. Well respected Super. individuals. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. So you said already Goldstorm, that is also one of my questions before we come to what's going on in the field. Um, you announced on 1st February that you have the spin-off of the Goldstorm material and entering into uh, an amended and restated arrangement agreement. So what's what's the status there? Well, I, I think it's coming close. It's uh, Everything is uh, just in the hands of the uh, uh, approving officials and the officers were gearing up for exploration for that because we've got the geological model working towards that. So just to reiterate, uh, anybody who's got uh, four shares of uh, Tudor Gold Corp will get a share of Goldstorm uh, Metals Corp. So it's a, an added bonus for ha anybody at, that had invested with us. So I think that's going to come out exciting. Uh, news will come out with boots on the ground uh, this summer. Our uh, facility for processing our core is strategically been moved to Stewart, where we will house our best prospecting geologists, and they will uh, rotate through uh, that core shack and up on Goldstorm uh, Metals Corp's ground, the crown project, and try and uh, fast track drill targets for another uh, similar geological structural uh, terrain that we see at. Pratium at KSM and of course onto the treaty ground. So we are really, really uh, dying to get out, get at it with with GMC Gold Star Metals Corp. Absolutely, that's coming mm -hmm. in the summer. Yeah. Okay, super. So that's another bonus for the shareholders. Yeah. That is great. Okay, shareholders. Uh, I mean, your stock was also hit hard, like uh, a lot of other share prices for sure. I mean, we are in a yeah global instable situation. Um, hit it by several reasons we all know but what's going on with the company what are you doing by now what are your plans well it's like everything and i've mentioned this in the past that these kind of uh invariable global events we'll call them are unforeseeable if anybody can sit there and project fuel prices accurately and and there's companies out there that have five-year contracts that work with industrial minerals like uh basically limestone and gravel pits that they're really in trouble with this but uh Overall, for us, my experience has been from 2000, 2001, uh, when that extinction horizon occurred, 2000, uh, 2008, it occurred, we happened to have snow fields. We just put our heads down and drilled right through it. Uh, I think the quality projects have the ability to will raise money, will get the spotlight, absolutely, because there's no turning back. We're of the same opinion. We're going to go forward strong, hard. This is going to be another uh, intense year for us. And the most important aspect, this is a wonderful opportunity. I mean, it's uh, when the people were on the fence at two bucks. Now we slid under, you know, the buck 60, 64. I see we're up today. But uh, all of this will correct themselves. We've seen this before. 
Uh, the two gentlemen I've got with me, uh, Ken uh, McNaughton and Joe Ofsnick, were well aware they were along that ride, and they've seen that uh, Prey Team stock plummet to two dollars and eighty cents based on uh, some some bad news that came out that was erroneous news, ironically. However, they rebounded with that, and uh, we've seen austerity. Anybody who's a uh, expirationist is a survivalist, and if you have a good product, uh, advanced uh, green fields like we do, or or some uh, brown fields, you will have success. I believe it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yep. Oh, well, I'm, I'm sure because I'm a shareholder of your company also, so I, I want to see that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So what is your plan now for the next month? Is called it summer drill program, whatever. What what do you have uh, in in your baskets you, you can uh, yeah. okay. tell us? <laughs> well, I'll give you a quick update for the last two months. We've been busy. We, we did a shotgun offense this year. And I'd like to thank the, the good people at uh, Newcrest for allowing us the uh, multiple use road or the special permit use permit for the forest road they've got to their uh, mine site. So we've staged everything within eight kilometers of our property. So we built our, again, our winter route and we brought in extremely heavy uh, loads, like some drills that are weighing 20 tons. So we brought it in on its own skids. We dragged in uh, a lot of equipment, a lot of uh, materials, timbers, beams, uh, uh, fuel cubes, uh, uh, all the drill components. We're now going with eight rigs. So the first four have hit the project. We now have turned on the uh, first four rigs. We expect to see the other four light up here the next, say, two weeks. We'll put a release out on that. So we're going to go aggressive with, uh, like I said, eight to ten rigs. We'll see how it looks if we have the space in camp. With uh, We're still maintaining COVID spacing. So that's one of the reasons why we did the uh, Stuart uh, strategic uh, core processing unit because the core has to get flown out yes or yes. So we are in Stuart with that. And uh, we've uh, got an excellent crew. I was really impressed. We have an elite uh, exploration team this year. I've never felt stronger uh, with uh, having myself, Joe, Ken, and also one other person I'd like to mention is uh, uh, Stephen Quinn has come on too. So all of those gentlemen have 40 years experience and all of them have been presidents of companies. So um, me and they're all very successful so far. Yeah, the success track record is phenomenal. <laughs> so I've never felt more yeah. comfortable at yeah. this stage going forward with that kind of power behind us. And let's let's face it, 120 years added to my 40 years gives us 160 years perspective on what to look at for how we put this uh, this thing into production is the goal. First, finish off the drilling, and that's what I want to allude to, the phase one drilling. Pick, off, pick up where we left off last year, continue with this with the first 30,000 meters of the step out. And one of the things that I'd like to point attention to is, maybe it's not so obvious, but if you look at the outline of our last press release, the two figures we put out, the upper figure shows the current uh, uh, state of drilling with the values on them. Uh, posted and the second figure shows the uh, basic outline of M and I, the measured indicator. Now, if you note between those two figures, there's a lot of beautiful dark blue and red colors outside that resource. So uh, that strongest portion is what we're hunting first. So now we're after the big step outs. This is the thing that we wanted to get to last year before we got uh, impacted by having drillers that came ill and we couldn't finish the year off correctly. So this is where we're picking off, uh, picking up and starting off with the big step outs right, right off the get go. So uh, expect some, uh, some, I think, some pretty impressive news coming up, we hope anyway. And to get to the end of the pit, let's, let's find out what the end of the system looks like. And that's mm -hmm. the goal, 100% Goldstorm, 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 and connect uh, uh, Eureka if, the, if it does connect to Goldstorm, the upper expression of DS5. And the other one is, we took a shot at uh, one of the more impressive uh, uh, values we had last year on a discovery hole was CBS, the calm before the storm. So that when we start off right away, we have a drill on that well underway on that on that hole because the uh, there's a chance fine for having something much higher grade with that model. We think it's more of a volcanogenic uh, uh, scenario than anything else. So uh, we're very excited what's going to come out of this next uh, three, four months of drilling. Absolutely. Okay, super. So you said phase one, 30,000 meters. Would they be then the phase two also? Correct. Absolutely. So what happens is what we do is we take the phase one drilling, we actually plan it out. Then we go, we will walk into a phase two based on what we see from phase one. That, that's predicated on where the 
center of mass is looking. And if you were to ask me, for example, this question last year, I would have given you a wrong answer. I would have said, well, it looks like our phase uh, one is going to probably pinch off and close off the Gold Storm system to the northeast because it looks like it's waning. Completely wrong. Did it ever come back? It kicked like a mule. It's got some really strong grades. I mean, some of the values that we got out of that, out of the whole 113 on the 300 horizon, these are uh, absolutely stunners. Uh, near surface, uh, uh, we got uh, you know 2.65 grams over uh, 147 meters. Deep it down for block cave where you need the grades mm -hmm. to be strong. 1.83 gold equivalents over 273 meters. And uh, these are the, sorry, those are CS, uh, CS600 numbers, that, uh, that latter one. Those are CS600 deeper holes. But the big, uh, the big takeaway was the, uh, even, even the uh, DS5, this deeper rooted uh, beautiful block cave came in at 1.76 gold, almost 200 meters. So if you're standing in Vancouver looking at the living at Shangri-La, the tallest building, it's essentially that intercept of the tallest building in Vancouver that's running 1.76. And it's yeah, mostly crazy. gold. Overall, we're getting stronger silver numbers, but this is a gold dominant system. Mm -hmm. uh, the other aspect of the CS600 is this, the copper grades are, are, are ripping. I mean, uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 in some of mm -hmm. these uh, composites, 400, uh, 405 meters of a, of a 0.6% copper. Uh, it, it's Beautiful. Incredible. That added to a 1.44 gold equivalent. And mm -hmm. within the domain, within the domain, 273 meters, uh, that first one I mentioned of that. Uh, CS600 had a 0.84% copper. These are the last holes that we're launching from. These yeah. were the cliffhangers that we left off 2021 with. So all of these numbers, everybody should have a good look at that last press release we just put out this last Monday. And uh, to know those are the jumping off points for our step outs. Mm -hmm, definitely. At what depths have, have they been? Uh, they've gone down to uh, sub a kilometer. Again, we're doing that uh, over one gram per kilometer. But uh, the, the interesting thing about uh, this holes, we don't know how deep they go because we went, we ran them to 1,500 meters and they're still in the highest grades at the very end. So we're realigning on some of these. We brought in, uh, uh, Morecore has done an excellent job for us, but the limitation of the drill is right there. We're right at, the, at, that, at that limitation snapping off. So high tech has brought in rigs that can go two kilometers. So these underground sub-level block cave values will, will, will definitely support these, uh, uh, these models that we've been in contact with some of the our neighbors and they said absolutely the deeper the better because of the hydrostatic pressure that flushes the uh, material you just need the grade so we've mm -hmm. got that and uh, we're we don't even know how deep that goes so the best grades are uh, some of those deeper intercepts that we're seeing and that one goes down to uh, 1227 mm -hmm. uh, meters is that that deepest intercept and some of them go down to 1320 i'm looking at one w2 is the extension uh oh sorry that's the intercept sorry i'm wrong that's the intercept 1220 1320 meters of uh, 0.97 so mm -hmm. that intercept went to 1575 meters so that's the one we mm -hmm. couldn't get that's what we'll extend on is w2 is the wedge so there's going to be some really exciting news on recasting these uh re-reporting what that full intercept is going to be because we're going to add possibly 200 meters to that. So that's going to be incredible. I've never seen numbers this, this, this large. I keep saying that yeah. every year, but this just gets stronger and uh, better grades. Now that's what we're seeing is, is within the domains, we have higher grade domains. So domains within domains, if you will. So it's got something for everybody. If everybody wants to see the big global picture, well, we've got that, but also for the minor, I mean, we see composites of over four grams, over 78 meters. I mean, mm -hmm. we're seeing some very good, that's almost the cutoff grade of Praetium for underground. They're at uh, 5.8, 5.9, mm -hmm. 6 grams. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's veering on what they've got for their cutoffs. Mm -hmm. So um, wow. very interesting uh, uh, dynamics coming out of this north and, uh, northern uh, aspect. Imagine Super. Yeah, that it sounds great. Let's yeah. let's assume things are going well, like yeah. you want it. What do you think might be a uh, target or conclusion for the year end? What do you Ooh. think you can achieve when uh, those two, let's call it those two drill programs, deliver what you think? Well, the first and foremost thing is we've got to constrain the entire, uh, make a decision on on what the pit's going to look like, the constrained pit, so we can come out and formulate the the best preliminary economic assessment that we can come out with. And uh, that means uh, uh, if uh, we're taking a forward look at what the grades need to be, because clearly 
we could target higher grades, but that means a higher density of drilling for the barrier ground. What we're doing is we're clearly just putting out what would be initially the global aspect of, of constraining all of mineralization. Then within that, we'll have the domains within the domain. So in this phase two, it wouldn't shock me if we, uh, uh, well, we'd like to find the limits of the mineralization. That's the first and foremost. Let's just start with that and see what we get. And then it may be going to constraining a smaller, tighter pit, or maybe going to a larger super pit if Eureka connects. So stay tuned. I mean, that that's a, that's a big uh, game changer, that Eureka. If it does connect all the way through, mm -hmm. that means that you've got yet a third starter pit. The first one being Copper Store, a uh, Copper Bell. Second one is the is the is basically Goldstorm, the 300 horizon, that apex, that surface. And then the third starting point will be, uh, could be actually the Eureka. Uh, and that one is a zero strip with uh, it's, uh, it's very few explosives. It's like drilling a gravel pit. So... Uh, <laughs> So we've got some really, we got a PQ rig on that. That's what we actually hauled into the site that weighed uh, 40,000 pounds, 20 tons. Mm -hmm. The PQ uh, skid mounted monster rig we've got up there to just design to uh, get 100%, as much to close to 100% recovery as we can. Because that's mm -hmm. the key to getting the, the grades we saw out of uh, Eureka Hole from last year, as you recall, was a really good, uh, great value back for us result. So we'll be going after that blending that down to the program with Goldstorm. So mm -hmm. all, all these aspects, and we're not going to get distracted, I think, this year with Perfect Storm, because I think we got to bring all guns on, on, on to bear on, the, on that target. We've got we've to knock down uh, what, how big Goldstorm is, the system entirety, get the pit outline, get the resource, everything we got. So this time next year, I'm hoping that we've got it all stitched off so we can come mm -hmm. forward with, with an intelligent PEA. Okay. Wow. Super. So next year PEA already. That's great. Uh, because that's the that sign. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is the goal. That is, that is true. Okay. That is goal. Yeah. Fantastic. So a lot of work you want to do. Yeah. What is cash in the bank? Meaning are you financed to do that? All yeah. Time? Yeah. We've got over 20. I think now uh, we're sitting with that to clearly go past uh, uh, phase one into phase two. I think uh, nobody wants to even talk about looking at raising money at these levels. And we no. I don't need to. So uh, I, I, I suspect if we do our jobs correctly and we do things, we hit the targets where we think they are, I think the markets will respond because, mm -hmm. again, I, I always challenge anybody to find something that looks that has more up blue sky potential than this thing. Uh, it's still wide open in all aspects, strongest grades. So I'm, I'm really hoping that uh, we have a clear sailing, no COVID. We, we have checks on the way in, checks on the way out. So we protect the uh, First Nations that nothing comes through our camps. Uh, we screen mm -hmm. everybody very carefully, a very careful way of uh, transporting. Guys aren't bunching up. Uh, so we're taking good care and splitting everybody up. Two camps, uh, third camp really is in Stewart. So uh, that'll be a big uh, hub for us with up to uh, 15, 20 people for cor core processing alone. And the GMC crew in our crew mm -hmm. house that will be operating out of, out of that uh, town to attack the Southern claims on the Crown claims. So it's going to be a busy summer. We've got a lot of balls in the air here. And uh, we just have to hit on a few of these. Then uh, off we go to the next uh, the next level, which will probably be Goldstorm next year. Yeah. Super. Perfect. Ken, that yeah. sounds like a great game plan. Thank you very much oh, for yeah. your time. Well, I appreciate and, uh, it. Yeah, I, I really look forward to a lot of good news, a lot of good right. news. And I would say just hit it hard. Eight, yeah. eight to ten weeks, you said. Jesus Christ. That's really Put your head down and drill through it. Just drill through it. <laughs> exactly. Through it. Super. Thank you. Seven. Thank you very much, Ken. See you soon. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, okay. ladies and gentlemen, that was Ken Conkin, the CEO of Tudor Gold. And you heard it. They are poised to really hit half the ground, 30,000 meters in the first phase. We will see what the second phase will bring, but eight to 10 drill rigs and also big drill rigs with 20 tons, also 20 million in the bank. That is fantastic. So the company is not under pressure to raise money in those markets. And uh, we think uh, those markets may go on for another one or two months, but for sure, from summer onwards, it will be getting better because one thing is for sure, inflation is not going away and gold prices should be well over $2,000. So let's see what happens. I keep fingers crossed that uh, Tudor Gold delivers again such fantastic results as they did in the past. I have no doubt they will do. And I'm a shareholder of the company for that reason. And you should really consider that fantastic company also in your portfolio. Thanks for watching us and bye-bye from Switzerland.